Annotation is required to complete an AutoCAD drawing. Two examples of that are dimensions and text. To access the styles for these, you can go to the annotation drop-down list. For example, under text style, we can see the font name, the style, and the height. Under dimension, we can see that a standard style is provided, and you can create new styles and or modify them. Let's start by adding a linear dimension. I'm going to dimension the vertical line on the right-hand side of the object, select the two endpoints, and place the dimension. I can see that it has four decimal places. I don't really want that, so I'm going to adjust the precision of the output. I'm going to go to the Dimension Style, modify it, and on the Primary Units tab from the Precision List, select two decimal places. Now a little tip, instead of selecting the two endpoints, I can go to Linear, right-click, and just select the object. Now I can place the dimension with two decimal places. On the Home tab, we have a number of options. I'm going to go to Angular. Place the Angular dimension. The next dimension I'm going to place is a Radial dimension. Select Radius. Select the arc, and we'll notice that a center mark is added as part of the default behavior. I want to add center marks to the two other circles, but they're not available on this list. So I'm going to go to the Annotate tab, go to the drop-down list, and select Center Mark. The default behavior is a small cross. You can change how that looks in the dimension style. Now I can continue on with the dimensioning. In this case, I'm going to select Diameter and add the diameter dimension to the circle. The first linear dimension I'm going to add is going to be at the top. Selecting the end point of the center mark, a dimension of 1.5. I'm looking at the overall shape of this uh, particular part and I know that I need to add some continuous dimensions. So I'm going to start by adding a linear dimension. Again, selecting the end point of the center mark. And instead of adding another linear dimension, I can go to the continuous dimension. I'm going to use a similar workflow for the bottom of the part. Select the end point, the end of the center mark, that gives me my first dimension. Now I can add the second dimension. And just as I did before, I want to add the overall length, but this time I'm going to right-click and select the object. And that completes the dimensioning. To print or plot the drawing, I need to move from model space to paper space. So I'm going to select Layout 1. And we can see that there is the drawing. Now by going down to the status bar and clicking on paper, I can access the drawing itself. You can see I'm zooming in and zooming out. I'm going to go to zoom extents to see all of the drawing. Back to paper, and I'm going to return to model space. To complete the annotation, I'm going to add some text. Multiline text is available on the Annotate tab. It's also available on the Home tab. Pan over a little bit, select my starting point, and the other corner of the rectangle. I'm going to add three lines of text. The first one is Remove All Sharp Edges. The next one is telling people what the material is. In this case, the material is mild steel. And the third line will be telling people what the thickness of the material is. So thickness equals 0 0.25 inches. Click on the Close Text Editor. Now because I've added some more information, I need to go back to my Layout 1. Because currently, what's viewable in Layout 1 is only the drawing. So again, click on Paper, Zoom Extents, 
and the text is now available. And I'm now going to return to model space. And that completes the annotation of this object.